Hello, Pestilence here with another lock. Where's the lock? Shazam! There's the lock. It's a four wheel letter combination lock. I do not know who made it. Uh, the manufacturer does not have a stamp on here as far as I can see. But the wheels are made out of brass and then the rest of it's made out of iron. And they have uh, hash marks at the top here, right in between. So, I have tried all the different little tricks to decide uh, to figure out what, um, what the combination is in decoding this. And of course nothing worked. So, what do I do? I used my magnifier here. See, it's got a smaller magnifier, more powerful than there, and it has a built-in light. And so I looked at every surface, both sides, on the inside, the bar, all over the bar, and I thought that I had letters. And so I turned it, and I turned it, and I turned it, and fiddled with it, um, and then... Uh, I said, well, that's enough, and I went to bed. Well, I couldn't sleep, and so I woke up around 4 in the morning and decided, well, can't sleep. What am I going to do? Might as well fiddle around with the, with the combination lock. And so, once again, I was looking at all the surfaces to see if somebody had written it in in pencil, and I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I thought I saw a letter here and a letter there. And so, you know, I turned the wheels and um, I thought I had two of them. And so I put it in here and I tried and I tried. And with this, so you can pull it like that, but it, it's not doing anything because that's not, you know, the combination. And so... I put in, like I said, what I thought was a combination, and it wasn't. And I was getting tired, and it was like 6 o'clock in the morning. And I pulled, and I pulled, and I tugged, and then I looked, and there was a word written, you know, right across there. And I said, well, that can't be it. But I decided, you know, I'll... I'll put it up anyway and try it, just because, you know, there was actually a word. And so I got it all lined up. And I pulled on it. <laughs> and it opened. And I had this by there, and I smacked it, and I knocked the, the magnifier up, and... Uh, I hit my uh, earphones and knocked them off and all that stuff. And I was laughing because it was so ridiculous. Here was the word written out. And, you know, I was trying to find all these different letters and uh, put everything in there. And then I looked down and there's this word. And that was it. So when it comes to combination locks, um, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. And that's probably the best thing for it because... When I don't know what I'm doing, I seem to be able to get things open. And as you can see in there, all the gates are lined up. And this slides in. And just uh, in case you didn't see, the word was Peru. That is the combination for this. I also have a six-letter uh, combination padlock. And that one has a little, a little gap in between. And I have looked in between there, and I've seen some of the gates. 
and I think I know what the letters are, and I write the letters down, and then I put the combination in, and nothing. So, out of the three comp vintage and antique combination locks I have, uh, two of them I've opened having no clue what I was doing, and then the one that I actually think I know what I'm doing, and I can't get it open. So, there you go. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay legal. Bye.